and we are walking around in what hopefully will be an organic cornfield this year. Um, we are been super wet around here lately and still pretty wet, but the calendar keeps ticking and hopefully we're going to get going on later on this afternoon with some field work. Um, this field was soybeans in 2018 and we drilled a bushel or so of winter wheat in late November just kind of as a cover crop and you can see that that weed is still growing and working for us helping in the soil um, we have ran across this wheat one time or field one time with a mulch master however it rained the same night and as you can see most of this or some of this wheat did definitely grow back um, we're just kind of checking soil conditions here now and it looks pretty good on top um, as we dig down here you get more than about an inch down two inches down and it's it's pretty wet um, it's not ideal by any means if this was may 1st we probably wouldn't even be thinking about being out there yet today but on june 1st it's kind of time to get going there is more rain forecasted potentially for middle of the week so um, but we do have a couple two three inches of soil on top here that is fairly fairly good nice soil structure but it's pretty gummy underneath but on june 1st it's time to go but um just kind of wanted to show you the situation we're in with the cover crops and the other neat kind of thing is here if you pull out a wad of this wheat and just look at what this root mass has done and how nice and crumbly this soil is and this soil in the wheat roots is really nice and mellow and just falls apart in your hands just like potting soil and we even got a little worm there and that's kind of the goal of the wheat was just to um, kind of hold the soil in place from erosion and increase soil structure and I think I'm happy with how it's done for that and we'll see what happens I guess here I, I hope the goal is that my field cultivator will tear this out it's going to be asking quite a bit of it to do it in one pass but uh, we're going to try it and see what happens I guess so this is a pretty decent probably some of the best ground we have a flat ridge up here on top um, a lot of our ground in this area is terraced and on side hills and that ground is even wetter than this is with some seep spots but we're going to try to get going on this field here later on this afternoon and if we do get going um, maybe we can take a quick video and kind of see what kind of job our field cultivator is doing. 